Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and we have here a rather nice little jacket from Jack Pike. This is the Shires fleece jacket and it's a nice simple light fleece which I'm a big fan of equally as I am also a big fan of Jack Pike. And the reason that I've got this in nice simple plain green rather than going for any of their other uh, jackets and things in the English oak camo, which I'm a big fan of, is because I already have so many clothes in various Jack Pike camos that I'm wearing two items already as I record this video. And as I've said in the previous video, just on this um, rather nice backpack from Jack Pike, that I don't want to end up looking like a walking tree whenever I put on a huge array of camouflage items. So this, nice, simple and green, and also I was very uh, fond of this because it's got these green uh, patches rather than the traditional brown ones that I've got on other clothes. So similarly, it's just adding a bit of variation into my wardrobe, but still keeping it nice and country and outdoorsy and all the sort of clothing that, as some of you will be aware, I tend to wear in an awful lot of my videos. This has been freshly delivered through the post, so I forgive, well, please forgive my terrible attempts to try and fold everything. So you can see you've got your patches on your shoulders, they come down the front but don't go down past the uh, back. I've also got this rather good collar which don't worry I'll put this on in just a second so you can see it properly and also see my ugly mug. And the uh, zip down the front is a double zip all the way to the very bottom there as you can see. So as mentioned the collar I love because as you can see that gives you an awful lot of neck cover. Uh, equally, I quite like the effect of these. It's going to be interesting to see how they go as they sort of wear in and get a little bit more flexible because I can feel them just sort of going down the sides, which I quite like the general effect. And like I say, it's better than having all of my clothes with either camo on them or the brown patches that you'll be familiar with from other videos. Um, equally, I think something that as something that's maybe peculiar to me individually, but I always try and have coats and jackets that are slightly too big for me and very slightly longer in the arms than I would traditionally need. But that's because I do so much biking and obviously when you're stretching your arms forward to the handlebars, having a coat that's slightly longer means that the sleeves actually come down your fully outstretched and uplifted arms rather than on coats and jackets that are slightly smaller. Obviously, the more that you lean forward, the more the sleeve starts to disappear up your arm. So that's something I'm a big fan of. And equally, I don't want to dare to angle the camera downwards, but having the pockets on the front, if I can uh, lift this up and show you, that are both zipped is a huge plus as far as I'm concerned. Zipped pockets is an absolute must for obviously biking and your legs moving your uh, sort of top half about and not losing things out of your pockets. But also, because I do a lot of uh, walking up to the shops and stuff at various villages and so on, there's a lot of that that I do cutting across fields and uh, footpaths. So the last thing you want is anything to fall out of your pocket in a field of crops because that could be a very, very long rescue mission looking for that. So once again, zip pockets, double zip down the front, nice high collar and just a generally nice design all over. I'm a big fan. Anyway, I think I'll wrap things up now and say thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos for loads more random product reviews like this and also plenty of outdoors stuff, whether that's walking up mountains, biking, kayaking or just generally my life living on board an Arabic. Until the next time, like I say, subscribe, check out my other videos, feel free to like the Facebook page and even add me personally on Facebook and Twitter for all sorts of updates from Life on the Canal. Till the next time, keep it fleecy, have a fantastic day and farewell.